annual Axe Awards, honoring Axe Television Network affiliates for their outstanding achievements. And now, here's your host for the evening, the talented Dave Boyer. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. It's great to be with you. Why should I sing? Should I sing of lesser things? Those things that pass away. When I've got a friend like Jesus now to sing about each day. Here's the theme of angel song fills those heavens above. Should I not join this chorus suite? I'll praise the Lord I love. I have no song to sing but that of Christ our King, to Him my praise I'll bring forevermore. God's love beyond degree, His death its ransom me, now and eternally, you know I'll sing it all. songs tonight my melody of love to Jesus belong I have no song to sing but that of Jesus our King to him my praise every day I'll bring forever everybody. The fifth annual Axe Awards is hosted by the Axe Television Network, a nationwide broadcaster with 24 hours a day of inspirational and family programming. Tonight, we're honoring Axe Network affiliates for outstanding achievements in local production, promotion, community service, and channel management. Now, once again, here's your host for the evening, former big band singer, and now a major performer in the Christian music field, Dave Boyer. Thank you, everybody. God bless you. Thank you. Thank you, and good evening, everyone, and thanks for that wonderful welcome. This is going to be an exciting time together, and I'm looking forward to it. You know, this live telecast originates from the Travis Avenue Baptist Church in Fort Worth, Texas, and is made possible through the technicians and the facilities of a volunteer crew and staff right here at the church. The Axe Television Network is a 24-hour-a-day, marvelous, inspirational, and family network, which is available in some 10 million homes from coast to coast. It's earned a reputation for quality programming and Axe affiliates have achieved distinction for innovative and effective local programming. And that's the reason we're here tonight, to show you some of the things the affiliates have produced and to honor them with awards for their outstanding accomplishments. We'll also have some wonderful entertainment musically, including songs by Kathy Sullivan, who gained national recognition on the Lawrence Welk Show and is now a very busy gospel singer across the country. But now let's get the award programs underway. And our first presenters tonight are no strangers to the Axe Television Network. Karen Hader has hosted the Daily Coat program for over a year now. And she's also shared uh, the hosting duties with Mike Fraser. Mike has now moved into public relations with 
McGee Associates, a counseling service in uh, Arlington, Texas. But tonight, for the first segment of the Axe Award, they're together again. So let's give a big, warm welcome now to Karen Hader and Mike Fraser. Thank you, Dave. It is a great privilege to be here this evening for the Axe Awards. It is always a tremendous pleasure to work with Mr. Mike Frazier. We had some wonderful years together on COPE. It's good to see you, Mike. Had some wonderful years. It is good to see you, Karen. Thank it's you. good to work with you. And it is a real honor to address all of our Axe affiliates and the good work that you do. Thank you for joining us tonight. I want to tell all of you about the great stars that Dave Boyer worked with back in the early days of his career. Oh, Why, oh the you first, mean those people like Frank Sinatra. That was one of them. And then Dean the, Martin, yeah. Jerry Lewis, Milton Berle, those people, right? I kind of knew this was going to happen. Yeah, that's uh, part of what I wanted to say. Mm -hmm. I, but I also, also wanted to tell you about his incredible life story. This is, oh, you're going to find this just yes. to be fascinating. And, and I want you to be sure and tell our audience about the great things about him, in particular, the fact that he grew up in a Christian home. That was one of the things. Had influence in that home. And then as he moved into the entertainment world, kind of drifted away from those Christian influence and Christian ideas. And then also, Mike, I really think you need to tell them that after a series of tragedies in his life, God worked a miracle. And he came back to those Christian ideas. And most importantly, Mike, you need to be sure and tell these people that he's using that great singing talent in Christian music now. Ooh, can you tell them all of that? I uh, was really just going to say that Dave's going to be on later in the program with more oh, music. But oh. uh, uh -huh. <clears throat> if you don't mind, I'm also going to say <laughs> that our first award tonight is in the religious special category. Now, this is a one-time only program whose purpose is to lead in worship, to evangelize, inspire, or edify through a direct religious theme or message. And I just want to say, here are the nominees. This is Brazil, Rio de Janeiro, Brazil Mission 89, a documentary produced on location in South America by Acts of Fort Smith, Arkansas. There's a lady with a torch light standing all Travis P.M. Designed to stir patriotism and thankfulness to God for our nation. Produced by Travis Avenue Baptist Church for Acts of Fort Worth. Missions is the process of opening yourself up to be used by God. To touch other people's lives and let your life be touched by other people. The mission of Christmas all year. Showing local mission involvement and a giving spirit throughout the year. Produced by Broadway Baptist Church for Acts of Fort Worth. And the winner is Brazil Mission 89, produced by Acts of Fort Smith, Arkansas, showing a mission project in Brazil involving the First Baptist Church of Fort Smith, Arkansas the Concord Association, and Impact International. And so it was to Rio that God sent our team this time. There were 17 of us, preachers and doctors and dentists and singers and lay people who went to share the glorious gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ. We were invited by the Rio Baptist Convention to do crusades in four churches where there were great opportunity and great need. And then to go into the slums and to the clinics and the needy areas and do our medical work. And to share Christ on the streets and door to door and in home Bible studies. Pastor Euclides Lima at the Botanica Baptist Church has a great heart for the slum areas adjacent to his church field. His church is located in a very affluent section of Rio, but reaches out to some of the most poverty-stricken areas in the entire city. He made great use of the medical team to touch the slum areas that have broken his heart. The church at Petropolis is pastored by Reverend 
Herodium Bastos. This young interim pastor has led his church to pray for God to give them great revival. Our ministry was greatly enhanced by the faithful witness of laymen like Ronnie Massey of Meridian, Mississippi, and Dave Tyndall of Sulphur, Louisiana. These men were used greatly of God in sharing their faith in a personal way. He wants to save every one of our souls. Dr. Ken Hamilton and Dr. Prentice Ware were down in the mouth most of the entire trip. I mean by that, they were faithfully doing their dental work in the slums and clinics where they had opportunity to serve. Many were brought to Christ through their ministry. Our medical team was assisted by faithful interpreters, nurses, and even some doctors on the field. And so our prayer is that what you've seen today will touch your life and motivate you to make a commitment to be obedient to the great commission of our Lord Jesus Christ, who said, go ye into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. This is Paul Riggins, local Acts Board chairman. We're so grateful to the Lord for his goodness and his blessings on Acts of Fort Smith. And I want to especially thank my pastor, Dr. Ron Herod, for Cindy Greeby, who is the producer for Acts of Fort Smith, Bobby Dyer, and a whole host of volunteers, and also for Mr. Ralph Freeman, a businessman in Fort Smith who's made it all possible. Thank you very much. If, if I might. You're sure? Okay. Sure. Our next award is in the religious series category. Entries are from the program series whose purpose is like that of the religious special. That is, to lead in worship, to evangelize, inspire, or edify through a direct religious theme or message. And let's take a look at the nominees. Kids, designed to teach children about the Bible and Christianity in an entertaining format. Produced by Little Rock X. Oh, it started out innocently enough. You said you wanted to, to save me from my sins and take me to heaven with you. Hey, I appreciate that. First Baptist Church Worship Hour. But now, produced in Wichita Falls, Texas by Acts Channel 32. Sharing Jesus Christ with the community. The Sword, a studio-based talk variety program hosted by Chally Ray. Informing, entertaining, and inspiring. Produced by Cable 6 of Hattiesburg, Mississippi. And the winner is Just Kids, produced in the studio and on location by Little Rock Axe. Welcome to today's edition of Just Kids. Today, we are going to be learning about encouraging and building one another up. You know, if you see someone with a sad face, or maybe someone who has been crying because of a problem, you can help that person by saying words of encouragement and by offering to lend a helping hand. Our mind and our mouth should always be filled with words of encouragement for one another. And that's what we're going to be learning about as we study 1 Thessalonians 5, 11. <laughs>
Boys and girls, through the design of God's loving hands, He can mold you and shape you into beautiful children and adults. But first of all, you need to give Him your permission to do that. You need to put your faith and your trust in Him to mold your life and shape it into beautiful boys and girls. You know, you can be peaceful and lovable and kind when God has put His touch upon your lives. I would like to thank... Accepting for Little Rock Acts is Linda Bennett, producer and host of Just Kids. I know that God loves me and I know that he takes care of me and he takes care of my family and he provides miracles both great and small every single day. As a network, we have a wonderful opportunity through our programming to reach out and tell people of God's love. In Little Rock, we do that with several programs. Just Kids is one of those. We reach children, we tell them that God loves them, that he will take care of them, and yes, that he does provide miracles, both great and small, every single day. Thank you. The human interest special category includes documentaries, magazine formats, talk shows, or any program with a general audience appeal. And the nominees extend from Mississippi to Arizona. And as you are about to see, they are all excellent. Live, X Television Channel 18 invites you to meet Laurel's mayoral candidates in this one hour special mayoral election. Mayoral Forum 89, a live program giving candidates an opportunity to state their positions in a hotly contested mayor's race. Welcome produced by Acts of Laurel, Mississippi. A conversation with Glenn Campbell, featuring music and insight into this popular entertainer. Produced by Channel 39 of Phoenix, Arizona. Widening the thin blue line. Encouraging support and prayer for police officers. Produced by Acts of Texarkana, Arkansas. Thank you. You, you have to watch for paper cuts when you do this. It's... The winner is No More Night, a conversation with Glenn Campbell in which he shares his Christian testimony and performs many of his hit songs. Produced by Channel 39 of Phoenix, Arizona. Taj Mahal to Paris, from Galveston to Hollywood. Thought I had done it all Then I met you Now I'm singing a new song Making music for Jesus my King He is my hero He's become my everything And there's no other song in rich I tell you he's alive and I am free Now I'm singing a new song Making music for Jesus my King He is my hero He's become my everything and Friends, there's no other song No
Jesus in me. Thank you, Glenn. And here we are with the opportunity today to just sit and talk a little while about what God has done in your life, Glenn, and what he's doing in our lives and what we hope to share with others. It's a very special treat for me to be able to share our friendship and our relationship with a lot of other people uh, just by means of uh, the cameras and the television sets in their homes or wherever they are and to let them know that it's a great joy to know the Lord Jesus and, and how you've come to sing that song. 39 is Dave Simpson, producer and director of No More Night. Thank you. On behalf of the staff of Channel 39 in Phoenix, Arizona, I'm pleased to accept this award. I'd like to thank those that have been most uh, responsible for this program. The general manager of Channel 39, the executive producer of this program, Mr. Rick Hooten. Our staff, which consisted of Randy Metter, Dave Warner, Daryl Lewis, Wade Kersher, and Angela Davis and of the many volunteers that made up uh, the music segments that were broadcast during this program, all the volunteers throughout the years that have helped with that. Uh, I would like to express extreme gratitude to Mr. Glenn Campbell and for the kindnesses that he's shown to the North Phoenix Baptist Church through the seven or eight years that he has been a member there and for allowing us to enter his home and to video photographs and just, just everything that he did to make this program what it is. And most of all to Pastor Richard Jackson. I'm proud to say that I serve on his staff and uh, it's just been his leadership and his vision that's led us to where we are now, and it's great to know that our, our best days are ahead of us. So for this award, I'm grateful, and I thank you. The Human Interest Series is our next category, and like the Human Interest Special, it encompasses a variety of formats, including documentary, magazine, and talk formats. And the nominees well, for this award are... Of, uh, Arthotex News, and it's appropriate <laughs> maybe that we introduce you to Jan Morgan. Jan is, uh, I guess, Channel 12... Positive Alternatives. Highlighting community organizations and showing God at work in people's lives. Produced by Acts of Texarkana, Arkansas. This is really okay. uncomfortable. I'm not used to being on this side of the interview right. table. Lots of high school students dream of becoming student council presidents, and you're one of those now. Seeing youth at the top. Providing examples for young viewers striving for the best. Produced by Acts of Central Louisiana. Of each school year, and... March. Good morning. This is Channel 39 from the North Phoenix Baptist Church. Welcome. Coffee, Coffee with, with the Pastor, a Sunday morning talk and music program featuring Pastor Richard Jackson, produced by Channel 39 of Phoenix, Arizona. Good morning, it is. Daryl McGuire and I were walking across the parking lot from over on the third street. And the winner is. Positive Alternatives, produced by Acts of Texarkana, the flagship program of TV 36, providing local and Christian information. From Texarkana, USA, where the Deep South and Great Southwest meet, it's time to discover Positive Alternatives, a program that helps you celebrate living and meet the kind of people who are making a difference by their lifestyle of faith, Back to the telephones. Good evening. You're on the air live with Positive Alternatives and Michael Haynes. Your question, please. Mike, I'd like to know, first of all, where is his local headquarters? Uh, is it national or regional? And also, does he have a outline of the scope within the United States, and how active is it in our locale? Good question. Several of them, in fact. I'm going to release your line so we can take another call. We'll ask Michael to, to, to address that. Thank you for calling. The, the task force concept is, is new in the sense of uh, two to three years old because this problem has been, has been happening very sporadically. Well, so Anton LaVey started the Church of Satan in 1966, so it happened from the 60s. And, and then it's, it's spun off to a variety of different... Well, Shirley's uh, going to share with us tonight some of, uh, of her pilgrimage to a very difficult time in life. Shirley, when, when you first learned that Bob had leukemia, 
was there a, a time at which you said, not us, this doesn't happen to us, and, and we're, it's just not going to be? Or did you accept it early on? No. The first thought that we had when we found that Bob had contacted Luke and your brother Mike was, you wanted to go hide. Hmm. You wanted to grieve. You know, when they say that dreaded word cancer, you know, it's, it's just like a black cloud hanging over you from that time forward. And I think we were justified in our grief. And we mourned the full life that we had lost, or felt like we had lost. And, you know, as our program is called Positive Alternatives, Bobby and I chose to live rather than try to hide from it. And from that experience, we, I think, grew closer together as a married couple every day, you know, in a six year. Accepting for acts of Texarkana is Mike Huckabee, the executive producer and host of Positive Alternatives. The concept of our program is very simple. We take very ordinary people and let them tell what Jesus Christ has done in their lives. And ordinary people become very extraordinary because of ownership, the ownership of Christ. We share good things in our community, and people want to know that there are some good things going on in little towns like ours. The key to the show is the fact that there are incredible volunteers, my wife being the most active of them, our producer Gary Underwood, who uh, runs behind the scenes making things click, the incredible number of volunteers that pull it together every Sunday night live at 9 o'clock when all of us really would like to go home. But we found that Sunday night more people are watching television and more people are hurting than any other time of the week. And combined with a great need and a great gospel, Positive Alternatives works. And it's such an excitement on behalf of our volunteers and our great church who had the vision to carry this ministry to accept this award on their behalf. God bless you and thank you. The Act Awards include a category called Educational or Informational Special or Series. The programming is designed to educate, instruct, or inform, and it includes book reviews, Bible studies, how-to programs, documentaries, news reporting, and educational children's programming. And the nominees are... What's your perspective at this point as comparison to a year ago? I feel better uh, about the state. We've made some progress. You know, I, I'm a... I, An I, interview I, with Governor Buddy Romer I, to share the I, Louisiana I, governor's I, views on I, religious and moral I, issues produced by I, Acts of I, Central I, Louisiana. I don't want to fool anybody. But we've made progress. And Take a look as we go through jury duty with Carmen Moore, today's clerk of court. Today's clerk of court jury selection. Produced to educate the public and prospective jurors. Produced by Acts of Tangipahoa in Hammond, Louisiana. One of the goals of hospice is to have the individuals as free of pain as possible, but also alert, able to talk without Hospice, a special kind of caring, showing help available for the terminally ill and their families. Produced by Acts of Coleman, Alabama. She came to New Haven, Connecticut. And the winner is Hospice, a special kind of caring. Produced by Acts of Coleman, Alabama. A documentary-style program showing local act support for quality community organizations. Hospice is a concept or a feeling of people wanting to help others during the terminal stages of their illness. And 
and um, it's where people are allowed to remain in their home with their loved ones and have death with dignity. They're not alone. Um, that's something I've dealt with. I, I've always thought that no one needs to be alone. They need to have that that hug, just to sit by them and, and, and tell them that you love them, that they're special. They're scared, and I'll be honest, sometimes I get scared. Um, it's hard. You learn to love these people. Uh, I think I was thinking this morning, um, when they come in, because I do admit them into the program, I admit them into the program, um, I respect them, their wishes, and then I offer them dignity, choices, and at the end, peace. And I think, I hope, that that makes a difference for each patient and their families. Captain for Acts of Coleman is Mike Whipple, producer of Hospice, and Mike Cornett, local Acts Board's chairman. First of all, I'd like to thank my Lord Jesus Christ for calling me into this ministry and to the people of First Baptist Church for having the wisdom to come into that location to do this job. Secondly, somebody that's very important, and that's my wife, Shelly, who puts up with a lot of long hours uh, after the fact. Uh, I'd like to thank Mr. Tom Hancock, who hosted our program. He did a fantastic job. I'd like to thank Dr. Edwin Hayes, pastor of First Baptist Church Coleman, for his support, and to the people of First Baptist Church for their support. And we have a large crew of media ministry volunteers that work every Sunday and don't get recognized very much. And I'd like to say a special thank you to them. Thank you very much. I'd like to add to that a special thanks to Michael. He's been on our staff nine months and has done a fantastic job. There's one other special group that I would like to thank, and that is those people who reach deep in their pockets because it takes a lot of money, nobody's admitted it yet, to produce these TV specials. And without them, we couldn't have it at all. And another group that I'd like to thank, too, besides our staff at our church, is our Acts Board. They've had a vision for five years. They've prayed about it. We now have permanent staffing, and we're really excited about what the Lord's doing in our church. Thank you. Don't go away because there are lots more on the Axe Awards. A great big thank you now to Mike Frazier and Karen Hunter for their combined talents during the first segment. Karen and Hope. When we return, we'll enjoy the music of Kathy Sullivan and meet two brand new awards presenters. Stay tuned, we'll be right back. I love my kids. I, I want what's best for them. And this is a, a tough world to grow up in. But I finally found something that helps. Hi, I'm Gerber. Do you like to play? You are my best friend. Gerber teaches my kids to be truthful, to be kind, compassionate, and, and loving. All the values that I want them to have. He's great. Bring Gerbert into your home through the Gerbert Video Club. Each month, you'll receive an exciting video adventure. And with your first tape as free gifts, we'll include volume one of an audio tape collection of Gerbert short stories called the Christian Values Library, plus a 32-page educational activity book. Your first video is just $19.95 plus shipping. So call now, 800-547-1717. Then each month, you'll receive a new Gerbert video, plus another volume of the Christian Values Library for the same low price. Start your collection today. Call 800-547-1717. Now, for the first time, the most complete collection of inspirational music ever, a treasury of 100 best-loved hymns. Our hymns have been specially programmed alphabetically, so you can easily find your favorite hymn. And as part of this collection, you'll receive a special booklet. All 
all the words to 100 best loved hymns, also alphabetically listed. A treasury of 100 best loved hymns on five records or three extended play cassettes. It's only 1995. Call 1-800-462-4001. That's 1-800-462-4001. Or send check or money order to 100 Hymns, P.O. Box 8900-H, Buffalo Grove, Illinois, 60089. Introducing Engine Saver, a multi-purpose gasoline additive. If you have an old or new automobile, you're probably buying premium plus gasoline or having your car tuned up twice a year, or maybe you're doing both. New Engine Saver Concentrate will reduce your car's gas consumption up to 25%, and its powerful detergents will keep your fuel injection system from clogging up. Engine Saver will remove the carbon from the top piston heads and also remove the carbon buildup from the spark plugs. Its high-temperature top oil lubricant keeps engine parts working freely and eliminates costly engine repair. Start today and prepare your car's engine for the new fuels for the 90s. Engine Saver saves you money on gas, gives you quicker, smoother starts, and gives your engine longer life. A one-year supply is only $29.95 with a 100% money-back guarantee. To place your order, call now, 1-800-448-0464. Or send check or money order for $29.95 plus $2.50 shipping to Engine Saver, 3448 Columbus Road, Worcester, Ohio, 44691. <laughs> Welcome back to the Axe Awards. Boy, what an exciting evening this is, and part of that excitement is this next young lady, Kathy Sullivan. Kathy achieved national fame as a soloist on the great Lawrence Welk show before entering the gospel music field. She now lives in Dallas and travels throughout the country sharing her faith through music. Folks, let's give a big, warm welcome to Miss Kathy Sullivan. Great. 
Kathy Sullivan, ladies and gentlemen. Singing better than ever, just wonderful. She's, and you'll be happy to know that Kathy is one of our next presenters. She's teaming up with another longtime Cope personality, a person who makes his home at Cope address most Thursday evenings. He's Ben Loring, who is also happens to be the pastor of the First Baptist Church of Lawton, Oklahoma. So let's welcome Kathy Sullivan and Ben Loring right now. Thank you, Dave. We are pleased to be a part of tonight's excitement. It's impressive to learn of the many creative ways that ACTS uh, affiliates are reaching and serving their audiences. You know, Kathy, the ACTS affiliates recognize that you reach people not only by lengthy programs, but by short <laughs> announcements that touch the hearts and minds of the viewers. That's right. This next category, for example, is called Christian Message. It contains a specific Christian idea, theme, thought, challenge, or belief. And so here are our nominees. Changes, an announcement about caring family relationships, including the church family, produced by the Rankin County Acts Board of Brandon, Mississippi. Seeds, presenting a subtle Christian message to attract unchurched viewers, produced by Walnut Street Baptist Church for Acts of Louisville, Kentucky. Riches, a brief message about the fleeting nature of wealth and emphasizing spiritual riches produced for Channel 40 of Lubbock, Texas. And the winner is Riches, produced for Channel 40 of Lubbock, based on Jesus' teachings in Matthew about earthly treasures and houses built on sand. Channel 40 is Rick Perez, station manager. Well, uh, I wasn't expecting this. Um, the guy that produced the spot is Craig Highsmith. I'm receiving the award for Craig. I, uh, well, I think it's, he's getting a big laugh back home because uh, uh, he, he thought, there's no way. And so, Craig, this is for you. Yes, there is a way. So uh, uh, anyway, I just want to thank, uh, for Craig, I guess I'll thank Russell Hartsfield, who happens to be the media minister at First Baptist in Lubbock, and I'll go ahead and thank everybody, at uh, my staff here at Channel 40, because of the opportunity we have to produce spots like this. I think that's the part of the reason why we do what we do, uh, is to be attractive, uh, is to be in a point where, uh, uh, well, I guess it leaves the person watching the message uh, thinking about something, and so, uh, Craig, this is for you, okay? Another important Axe Awards category is called Commercial. It includes paid or public service advertisements for businesses, community events, and various products. And here are our nominees. The limited edition decorative touch, a commercial designed to motivate people to shop at the print gallery, produced by Axe of Jackson, Mississippi. Peer pressure. Word association. Cigarette. Shot in a cemetery Marijuana. and aimed Speed. at combating drug Bill. abuse. Cocaine. Produced by Axe of Cullman, Alabama. You too can be a part of the it. Nutcracker, a spot the announcement event. promoting the local the performance of this well-known theatrical event. Orchestra. Produced by Cable 6 of Hattiesburg, Mississippi. And the winner is The Nutcracker, produced by Cable 6 of Hattiesburg for the Hattiesburg Concert Association. Once upon a Christmas, a little girl named Clara received a 
magical nutcracker. This Christmas, you too can be a part of that magic. On December the 8th and the 9th, the Mississippi Ballet and the USM Symphony Orchestra will present Tchaikovsky's Nutcracker in the Mononi Performing Arts Center. Tickets are $8 for adults and $4 for students. Merry Christmas, Hattiesburg, from the USM Hattiesburg Performing Artist Series. For Channel 6 is Moore Dyson, station manager. We at Cable 6 of Hattiesburg are committed to serving our community. It's our desire to serve Christ through our community. Thank you for recognizing our efforts and confirming our ministry with this award. Our prayer is that God will receive the glory. Thank you. Another important category which deals with brief messages is called promotional announcements. It involves the promotion of the local acts channel, or the local acts board, or a particular church or community activity. And here are the nominees. TV27 promo, utilizing area scenery and specially designed graphics to promote the local Axe channel. Produced by Little Rock Axe. Supposed to keep running smoothly. The Spirit of Family, designed to increase awareness of the Richardson Heights Baptist Church. Produced for Axe of Richardson, Texas. Thanks for watching. A promotional announcement highlighting locally produced programs and identifying the channel. Produced by Axe of Fort Smith, Arkansas. And the winner is TV 27 Promo, produced by Little Rock Axe to promote the affiliate within the city. Accepting for TV 27 is Linda Bennett, Executive Director. You know, it doesn't get any easier up here the second time. You still have nerves <laughs> that hit. Uh, obviously, I love the Lord or I wouldn't be in the ministry of Christian television, and it is a ministry. There are a couple other guys here with me tonight that I love and who have supported me uh, for the four years that I've been with Little Rock Axe and been my biggest fans and prayed for me and loved me. And even when I'm tense and irritable and nervous, my husband Robert and my son Jason, who's out of school, to come with me today and he'll be doing homework tomorrow if the teachers are watching while we're here. Uh, also, I would like to, to say a special thank you to our technical director, Joel Strickland, who put this clip together uh, of Scenes of Little Rock to, uh, to let people know that we're interested in, in them and our city and, and to draw them in locally to TV 27. Joel spends long hours, long after I'm gone each day, still working, and I appreciate him, and I do thank you for the award for Little Rock Axe. Linda? We hope you have another speech in you because we have another award for you tonight. One of the major awards of this evening is the Spot of the Year Award, which is selected by the judges for outstanding creativity and the production of a television spot. This year's award is winning spot is the one you've just seen, the TV 27 promo produced by Little Rock X. Our congratulations on an outstanding job. Thank you. Well, I am totally at a loss, and Joel, I wish you were up here right now, buddy, because this belongs to you, too. Uh, for those people that are watching from Little Rock, I know that they're pleased and proud of this as much as we are, and uh, this is certainly incentive to, to work even harder when we get back to Little Rock. Thank you. The next category in the Axe Award is called the Short Feature. It is best described as a standalone program or program element 
between four minutes or 20 minutes in length. And the nominees are... And learn how to be a better friend to the ones you already have. Your group will grow closer together. Group leaders will learn new techniques for ministering to junior hires. The Junior High Jamboree is a Junior High Jamboree. Fun, promoting attendance friends, at the Jamboree. Concerts, held at Southern Baptist College. Produced by Acts of Jonesboro, Arkansas. That's just good times. The Source promo designed to promote a new youth series television program produced by Little Rock Axe. Reading and Kelly Beatty. You know, living in today's world can be Watching pretty rough. people come to know Jesus Christ as a result of the Axe ministry, and then seeing Christians grow because this channel offers that kind of uh, impact uh, to believers. Axe of Texarkana highlights showing how Axe can be an effective tool in the community. Produced by Axe of Texarkana. And the winner is Power Source Promo, produced by Little Rock Axe, using special graphics combined with studio and location footage to promote a new television program for young people. Rick Caldwell with a dynamic message designed to help today's young people face the battles of life. My friends, God's Holy Spirit resides in you. And God's Holy Spirit is given to us so we can be a witness for Christ to help others come to know Him. It's not just ministers. It's not just youth speakers. It's not just pastors that God wants to use to help hurting people. It's God's people that have been put on this planet to make a difference. Power Source. Also featuring Randy Shenning with Power Source News. He'll help you in all your situations, but he desires your total commitment. Remember, the next time you feel like giving up and you feel like you're at the end of your rope, remember the sacrifice and the commitment that God made on your behalf for sending his only begotten son, Jesus, to die for you on the cross. Power Source and Mark Rutherford as Mr. Curious. Hey, I'm glad you're here. I want you to see this. This is your life. This is your life without Christ. Power, Power Source. Source. Each show will also include special guests such as Eddie DeGarmo, Michael W. Smith, Petra, and many more. Power Source. Dramatizations concerning the theme of the show. Hey, is it all here? Yeah. Let me check it. Aren't you going to check the merchandise? It's all ripped up. Well, what do you expect? It's the best I can do. Take it or leave it. Director of Power Source Promo. I just want to say thanks to my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ for giving me the idea for the show and for Acts. And there's just so many people I want to thank. I want to thank my executive director at, at Little Rock Acts, Linda Bennett, for all her support in the show. Also, I want to thank my crew, um, so many names. I want to thank Rick Caldwell, especially and Earl Phillips, my assistant director for the show, and Kelly and Chris and Randy Shinning and everybody else. Just thanks a lot. This is for y'all too. And I really believe that Power Source, God has plans for Power Source to be an awesome ministry, to, be, to reach a lot of kids for Jesus Christ. Don't forget, Jesus is the Power Source.
Before we go any further, I think I owe Dave Boyer a huge favor. He deserves a big introduction for this next number, since he gave me such a nice introduction. Trouble is, everybody knows him by now. So, let's just say, here's, here's Dave, Dave Boyer! Boyer. This is fun, everybody. And I'm walking in the footsteps of the one who made my feet. My cup is running over, and the new wine short sure tastes sweet. It's getting so much better each step along the way. And God, you've been so good to me that I just want to say the pleasure's mine. It's mine. Yes, the pleasure's mine. It's mine. All mine. I hear him say it over and over. Mine, all mine. And I'd like to underline. It's good, you know it's mine. The pleasure's mine. Just abiding in your love And day by day you're showing me All the unseen things above Now I know that I've got some problems But your love is not like mine Cause when I'm at my weakest, Lord That's when you really shine The pleasure is mine, it's so mine Oh yes, the pleasure's mine Folks, I tell you, you see, I still have a little bit of show business ham left, right? I mean, you small, you know, you smile and applaud like that, I'll be done around midnight. No, God bless you all. You are a terrific audience here and out there. What a great night we're having. And so stay tuned because we're going to be right back during this next day. The next segment, stay with us. We're going to have a great night of the fifth annual Axe Awards. So stay right with us, okay? You're watching Channel 39, the channel Arizona families can trust. Now, for the first time on TV, an incredible record offer that every gospel music fan will have to have. have it's Southern Harmony, a specially packaged two-volume, four-record set. Forty classic hits in all with original recordings by gospel music's greatest superstars. Of 
This special limited edition is available now while supplies last. Get your pens and pencils ready and stand by to order. If you're a gospel music fan, you'll absolutely have to have this priceless collection of gospel greats that include this one. Gold City's Midnight Cry, voted Song of the Year at the 1988 Singing News Fan Awards. 40 original hits available on four long-playing albums or two double cassettes. Southern Harmony, a collection of the greatest superstars in America. Don't delay, use your credit card and call toll-free. Operators are standing by to take your order now. For rush delivery of your Southern Harmony collection, have your credit card ready and call 1-800-367-7070. That's 1-800-367-7070. Or send $19.98 plus $3 shipping to Southern Harmony, Box 20, Department A, Los Angeles, California. Or call 1-800-367-7070. It's Tommy Hunter with another of his famous readings from the Tommy Hunter Show. Dear daughter, I tiptoed into your room tonight. And I looked down at you, smiling in your sleep. And I thought how very much like Sleeping Beauty, a little girl is. Here are the most requested inspirational thoughts on Readings, the great new record album by the ever-popular Tommy Hunter. To order, call the number on your screen. For the time and the tears and the cost throughout the years, there's no charge. When you add it all up, the full cost of my love is no Here at Even last are order. Tommy Hunter's finest yes. readings on record or tape in this great new collection. That Doc Brown has moved upstairs. Beyond the sunset. To order, call the number on your screen or write to this address. The Kyrgyz people of Central Asia are nomadic herdsmen, steeped in Muslim religion and tradition, who have not heard the gospel of Christ. There are no Bibles and no one to tell the good news. If we are to reach the world, we must pray. Join forces with people all around the world in time of prayer and fasting for the people of Kyrgyzia. Beginning at 6 p.m. on Friday, June the 1st and continuing through 6 p.m. Saturday for the 1990 World Day of Prayer and Fasting. Welcome back to the Axe Awards. I think you're going to like this portion of the awards, and I know you'll like our award presenters. Janice McDonald is executive producer of, and host of her own exercise and health information series called Body by Janice, which recently premiered on the Axe Television Network. And Dan Matthews is executive producer and host of Christian Lifestyle Magazine, produced by Faith for Today Television at the Venice Media Center in California and seen weekly on Axe. Let's give them now a big welcome, everybody. Right here they are. I want to thank you, Dave, for the privilege of being here. It's a real thrill. In fact, I felt a part of this Axe family for a long time because my show is released on this great network and reaches into so many homes. Well, I'm thrilled too, Dan. You know, Body by Janice is produced in Hawaii, and Axe is our link to the mainland. And when I found out that Axe reached over 10 million homes, well, I just had to get my outrigger and paddle on over here. <laughs> oh, no, no, wait a minute, Janice. That's a pretty big lake. Uh, you, you mean that Pacific Lake you paddled over here? Oh, the Pacific Ocean was no problem. It was getting across the Trinity River that was tough. <laughs> oh. Yes, I, I was thinking about it. I heard about these floods in Texas, and I wondered uh, just what would happen when we got here. Somebody from Axe would meet us in a boat, or we'd float in here or something <laughs> this evening. Glad to be here. Well, enough about water sports. Suffice to say that we're hooked on Axe. <laughs> Indeed we are. The Axe affiliates are about the busiest people anywhere around. They are doing all sorts of events in their communities, such as... Uh, the sports programs and others that we've seen, they go into their states and into other countries as well to do wonderful programs. The next awards is for Event Coverage Special. It's given for coverage and or analysis of a single event such as sports, parades, convocations, and graduations. And here are the nominees. Texas, Ole Miss, Oklahoma, Grambling, Southern Illinois, and Arkansas State. Other participants include nine 1988 Summer Olympians. 
1989, Shearson Lehman Hutton Games. A track meet at Arkansas State University. Produced by Axe of Jonesboro, Arkansas. Plus many others. So stay tuned for the night. This evening, the 84th Annual Meeting of the Baptist General Convention of Oklahoma's opening session is live from Tulsa Eastwood Baptist Church. Move up. Reach Oklahoma and the world. A program featuring highlights of the annual Oklahoma Baptist Convention. Produced by Acts of Oklahoma. Celebrating the 100th birthday. Coming up here is the Hattiesburg High Marching Tiger Band. They've done a wonderful job this year in all of the high school football games. And the director... Christmas Mr. Parade. Flowers. Live coverage of a community event. Produced by Cable 6 of Hattiesburg, Mississippi. The winner is the 1989 Sherrison Lehman Hutton Games, produced by Axe of Jonesboro, Arkansas, reaching a new audience with important programming of local interest. Hello, everyone. Lynn Bayless, along with Bob Williams, standing by to bring you the Sherrison Lehman Hutton Games from Arkansas State University. And this is quite an event today having uh, a number of Olympians in today's meet. Uh, Louise Ritter, Randy Barnes, Earl Bell, Willie Banks, Latonya Sheffield, Robert Cannon, and Brian Stanton all participated in the 1988 Olympics in Seoul, Korea. Yeah, Lynn, we have a headline crew, uh, two other Olympians that were not on the United States team are Patterson Johnson, who jumps for Arkansas State in the triple jump. He was representing the Bahama Islands. And also Lennox Adams from the West Indies, who's also a triple jumper. And, of course, uh, Shearson Lehman Hutton has thrown, thrown their sponsorship behind this meet. And this is the largest indoor track meet in the history of the state of Arkansas. Well, they have uh, also 11 teams entered in the meet today. Arkansas State University in both the men's and the women's events. Grambling State University, the University of Kansas and the men, Memphis State University's men are here, uh, Ole Miss, both men and women, here for today's uh, big event. Now we can look for him to come out of the tunnel here at just any moment, probably when the crowd gets high enough. Here he comes. See him give the thumbs up signal. He's wanting to go for the record. Good jump. Good jump. The uh, old meet record is 53-7. And here to accept four acts of Jonesboro is David Jackson, manager. Congratulations, David. Thanks, sir. It's good to be here again this year. Uh, I'd like to, first of all, thank the dedicated crew we have that work for acts of Jonesboro, and it's on behalf of them that I accept this award. Uh, we would like to thank Shearson Lehman Hutton, uh, Arkansas State University, and uh, especially Coach Guy Cotchell. He is the former head track coach at Arkansas State University that helped make this possible this year. And uh, to the crew, to the uh, people that spent 20 to, I think it was closer to 30 hours of editing on this program. And uh, I'd like to thank you. Thank all of the wives who let their husbands and their families loose so we can uh, go and produce a program like this. And I'd like to especially thank my wife, Sheila, Joshua, and Jenny, uh, that they don't get to see Daddy a lot on programs like this. But uh, we thank you. We're so thankful to the Lord for Acts and what it means to our community and to our nation. Thank you. The next category is called Events Coverage Series. It's presented for outstanding coverage of local events with strong community interest. And the nominees in this category are as follows. Hall hands off again to John. No, Hall keeps. He's going around the right end, left end. He's got some open ground and is pushed out of bounds by Richie Deerman. Bruce has Football 89. Supporting youngsters in the community by televising local football games. Produced by Axe of Laurel, Mississippi. That's my run the length of the football field with control. 57-55, LC by two, Mason. Blocked by Thompson. Louisiana College Basketball. 
coverage of home games as a service to the area, produced by Axe of Central Louisiana. And McGee uses the glass to score. Nice pass. Good operator still. Pack Coleman back High School basketball, defense. involving Axe with the community by providing local sports coverage, produced by Axe of Coleman, Alabama. Good to see these young men back. Keep moving those feet. Those hands in the eye. Which is open. The winner is Football 89, produced by Acts of Laurel, Mississippi, providing quality programming as part of ongoing commitment to the community. Hattiesburg will not be as fast as South Pike was last week, but they still have good speed. So they're going to have to go and work that out. They're going to have to overcome a, uh, the, the stack defense. You're going to see those linebackers right up on the line. That's the, that's the word is out on Laurel. If you can stop them at the line of scrimmage, you've got them. So they're going to bring those linebackers up. All right, now, just like you said, Hattiesburg is going to, they're going to option, they're going to throw. So the defensive backs for Laurel are going to have to read the key. They're going to have to keep with their assignments to stop this Hattiesburg ball club. Should be a great game. Well, we've got a good crowd here tonight, Woody. Excellent crowd. It's a cool, crisp night. All hands off again to John. No, Hall keeps. He's going around the right end, left end. He's got some open ground. Is pushed out of bounds by Richie Deerman. And there it is. Ball game's over. And this is Michael Myrick accepting for Acts of Laurel. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. <clears throat> You've heard a common theme, I think, that uh, people have said thus far, uh, all the hard work that goes into these things, and but most of all, uh, volunteers. It's really an honor to be here, but really, the honor is to our Lord Jesus. We thank him for this opportunity that uh, is called Acts, and we thank him so much for the ministry that we're able to perform in his name. I would like to thank some of the people that, uh, a couple of people that you saw in the clip, uh, Woody Barham, who uh, is my right hand, uh, acts as my assistant producer, and uh, is a star of our program, if you will. Uh, the many, many volunteers, the, the, these people uh, make it happen. You know, I, I'm there, and I produce, and I direct, and I do those kinds of things, but if it weren't for the volunteers, it just would not happen. Uh, and they are the ones that really should win this award. I thank everyone back in Laurel and Jones County, Ellisville, Mississippi, uh, for all of their support for the Axe Channel there. We are the community channel, and every day we're trying harder and harder to prove that we are uh, able to service them in God's name. Thank you very much. As we've seen this evening, Axe affiliates are very involved in the community with coverage of many significant events. Many affiliates are also producing large-scale musical or dramatic programs. And this leads us to the next category called musical or theatrical specials, which are programming consisting primarily of musical and or dramatic elements. Now here's the nominees. A musical special featuring the youth choir of the First Baptist Church, produced for Acts of Thomasville, Georgia. I am using music and drama to present the story of Christ, produced by the First Baptist Church of Temple for Acts of Temple Belton, Texas. The Messiah, featuring the Fort Smith Chorale, produced by Acts of Fort Smith, Arkansas. My people.
And the winner is Friends Forever, produced by the First Baptist Church of Acts, uh, Four Acts of Thomasville, Georgia, a musical drama for youth with Christian content. And my dad got a new job, and we're going to have to move in two months. It's my senior year, and I finally made the cheerleading squad. My best friend from where I lived two years ago, we still write. Yeah, but I don't want to write. I want to stay here and graduate with you guys. It's just not going to be the same. We can still be friends. Moving away can't change that. is Rick Jordan, Local Acts Board Chairman. On behalf of First Baptist Church of Thomasville and Acts of Thomasville, I joyfully accept this award. I told my folks at home last night, watch the program, it's going to be great, but hey, you know, there's no way for us. It's been said across the convention that uh, youth choirs are dead, but there's a group of kids back in Thomasville, Georgia that haven't discovered that yet. I'd like to say a special word of thanks to the Lord for the great opportunity through the Acts Network of sharing the gospel of Christ in our local communities. I'd like also to thank TCI Cable of Thomasville for helping us get the good pictures over the cable. Dr. Milton Gardner, our deacons, our church family for their marvelous support. Robert Rowan, our video production manager who has really done the lion's share of the work in our television ministry. Word and Meadow Green Music for a marvelous musical that touched so many lives of our young people. And finally, for that marvelous group of young people, the Youth Choir, and assisted by Richard Henderson in their great work last year. Like you, I've been out here tonight watching these clips, and I've been excited and, and saying what a great opportunity we have, what a great uh, group of programs we've seen, but most of all, I forgot it all for just a few seconds when I was watching Glenn Campbell share from his heart, and I would like to say what a great God we have. Thank you. In order to qualify for nomination in the series category, a group of at least three programs must have been shown during the awards year. All of these programs need to have a common theme or a common format or a common cast. The next category is for musical or theatrical series. These are programs containing music and or drama. And the nominees are as follows. Alone, and all the best and worst of man it won't change our master. Rod plan. Smith Specials, it's a bi weekly musical program produced by Acts of Altus, Oklahoma. Gone. It was Kathy Tricoli with Long Distance Letter. Up next is the number one most played video according to Contemporary Power Christian Praise, Music Magazine. a music video program with on location host segments. Produced by Acts of Coleman, Alabama. It's good to be forgiven. Enjoy. Well, where do you think we'll be going at next week? <laughs> I don't know. Let's go try out lounge furniture or something. <laughs> I'm, I'm at it for the fun adventure and stuff. <laughs> okay, folks. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.
Salt Tracks, a music video program offering alternative viewing for teenagers. Produced by Channel 40 of Lubbock, Texas. The winner is Salt Tracks, produced by Channel 40 of Lubbock. Combining music, humor, contest giveaways, and video personalities to reach a youthful audience. This is Rick Perez, who is the producer and host of Salt Tracks, accepting for Channel 4. You say, you get to really get around, don't you? <laughs> I guess I do. God bless you. <laughs> Thank you. Well, this is what, I, you know, I, I'd hoped, but I didn't. Well, anyway, um, the first, see, I got to do this first of all. I got to thank my wife because for the last three and a half years, she has to put up with uh, the kids that go around going, hey, she's married to that goofy guy on TV. So that's for you, hon, okay? Uh, I want to thank uh, also the cameraman. Brian Hinegar, who's also on staff. I want to thank Greg Rogers, who's host. Uh, Dana, let me see if I can pronounce this right, Dana. Dana Griffin uh, and Andrew Arguello, who also work at Channel 40. Uh, this has been a lot of fun, but the reason why we do the show, and it's always struck me, uh, I've always looked at scripture in that, is it's John 10.10, 10, that you know Jesus does give us that abundant life, and I desire to share that, uh, that kids can have a great time, that you can act goofy, you can be silly, uh, you can do the right things. I heard a, another group say that you can do the right things and you can love the Lord and people can see that. Uh, I, think, uh, I think the kids love it, but I think the parents love it too. I think they're glad that they're not watching MTV or something like that uh, because they're getting something more than just positive, but something that uh, will never return wo uh, void, uh, you know, with the, with the scripture and with the music videos and the opportunities to share uh, something that's just totally out of this world, if, if you know what I mean. Thank you. Our next category is brand new this year because AX affiliates have grown in their ability to produce so many outstanding seasonal specials. A decision was made to add a Christmas special category. Sophisticated equipment, more production expertise, and top-notch talent. All of this has resulted in local television specials containing high production value and a great deal of audience appeal. That's why we're pleased to present the following nominees. A glorious Christmas, a musical performance, including a living Christmas tree, produced by Louisville's Walnut Street Baptist Church for Ohio Valley Acts. Carols by Candlelight, the story of Jesus' birth, featuring the music of Jackson's First Baptist Church. Produced for Acts of Jackson, Mississippi. Travis Pageant, providing a fresh way to relate the joy of Christmas. Produced by Travis Avenue Baptist Church for Acts of Fort Worth. And the winner is Travis Pageant, produced by Travis Avenue Baptist Church for Acts of Fort Worth, presenting the Christmas message in an entertaining and meaningful way. The 
setting of the pageant is a turn of the century Victorian village. They're getting ready for Christmas. In the midst of the busyness of the season, though, they're about to forget what makes Christmas different in its meaning from other holidays. Now take a step back in time to the Travis pageant. Minister of Music. I'm excited and happy tonight to accept this award on behalf of the cast and the uh, choir and orchestra, Travis, and of course the great production committee we've had and the media group and the hundreds of people that, that have been a part of this. There are just uh, many, many heroes and many hands that have to make this go. I wish all of them could be here tonight to, uh, with me to accept this award. I do want to especially thank uh, our executive producer, Robert Howington, our uh, drama and staging director, um, Judy Berrigan, our um, set design and, and construction person, uh, Lou Warnick, and Steve King, who helped in this role, and of course our own uh, Ron Harris as media director. And this will encourage us tonight and for many years to come. Thank you. You know, Janice, I've had an increasing respect for whoever this panel of judges is who have selected these award, awardees this evening because I wouldn't have wanted to have been on that panel. They are all so very good. Everyone deserves one of these medals as far as I'm concerned. A hand for all of them. Yeah. The Axe Awards features a public relations category which covers promotion and community service. It's presented for television and radio announcements, print-in materials, giveaways, billboards, and any other media used to raise the public awareness of acts in the local and state level. It's also awarded for service to the community, whether through programming or projects which directly rate, relate to the local acts ministries. Our winner tonight keeps itself before the community in a variety of ways through promotion and involvement in the area, with programming featuring local groups and volunteer organizations. And it now gives us great pleasure to present the Public Relations Award for 1989 to Acts of Texarkana, Arkansas, for their involvement in high profile of community service. Texarkana promotes itself in a number of ways, including billboards, bumper stickers, an annual eight-page newspaper supplement, promotion on crew members' jumpsuits and t-shirts, and on the side of the channel's mobile production truck. Number 33 are the running backs. They uh, put Browning in motion. Goss at the quarterback, number nine. Handoff goes to Richardson. Richardson breaks a big one to the 40, and Richardson's... The channel's involvement in their city includes sports coverage, talk formats dealing with local issues and events. Many of the folks have seen you on Cast LA TV for a number of years here as you've covered this area. Drug education programs. March of Dimes promotion. Parades. A 4th of July rally and support of local peace officers. 
Danny, tell me how you got started as a police chaplain and, and, and also the beginning of your interest in the law enforcement industry. In 1982... TV36 has found numerous other ways to involve themselves in their community, including elementary and high school programs, election results, and weather reports. Congratulations to Acts of Texarkana, Arkansas, this year's recipient of the Public Relations Award. And this is Gary Underwood, Vice President for Acts of Texarkana. Congratulations. Gary. Thank you. Thank you. I have so many people I want to thank. Uh, I'd like to thank our pastor and president of Acts of Texarkana, Mike Huckabee, for his vision of what Acts is and what it needs to be for a church family that had caught that vision and let it become theirs, and for a city that's responded in such a fantastic way. I saw one gentleman on there I want to say a special word to is, as you saw our mobile production truck, which is a old Winnebago motorhome that's been converted, and it was given to us by John and Madeline Measel in Texarkana, and uh, John, I hope you're watching. Thank you. The Axe Television Network not only produces many of its own programs, it also receives outstanding programs every week from producers all over the country. These programs of faith and inspiration appeal to a very broad audience. Axe brings this important award to those who have been called by their production efforts. The reason, uh, for that reason, the Axe Awards has a category called the Best Network Program by an Associate Producer. And the nominees in this category are as follows. Well, hi. You know, it's an amazing world. Christian music has actually gotten to the place where we can have sequels to videos. You remember the party's over, Kenny Marks? Well, he's brought out part two. Light uh, Music, a daily Christian music video program hosted by Tom Green and produced by CTV of Wall, Pennsylvania. And then we'll play Exodus. of Discovery, featuring inspirational music and Bible teaching, produced by the Radio Bible Class of Grand Rapids, Michigan. Look to Jesus, and this was the message. The message was, Lord, behold, he whom you How love. How Can I Live? A program of Bible teaching and inspiration, hosted by Kay Arthur and produced by Precept Ministries of Chattanooga, Tennessee. Means to, it's, it's a good kind of love. It means to have... The winner is Day of Discovery, produced by Radio Bible Class of Grand Rapids, Michigan, featuring Bible study and music by the Discovery Singers. Hello and welcome to Day of Discovery. What does God expect of a man? What does a real man look like? How does he act? What are his values? Well, this week we begin a series of studies with Dave Burnham focusing on God's view of a real man. For today's program, we join Dave as he returns to his home state of Ohio, the city of Akron, where with his father as a godly example, Dave learned what God expects of a man. Now, to begin today's message, we find Dave on the playground of his former elementary school, near the house that was his home for the first 22 years of his life. Is the real man somebody who can bench press his own weight? Is the real man someone who has a scar on his face? Someone with a deep voice that can swear and use guttural words? Is a real man somebody who has grease under his fingernails? 
Can a real man cry? Does a real man have to always treat women like they're a sex object? Does a real man have a view of God and a love for God? These are some of the questions we're going to be examining as we look at what is a real man and what does God expect of a man? And this is Daryl Parker, host of Day of Discovery. Congratulations, Daryl. Thank you so much. On behalf of all of us at Radio Bible Class, and in particular the staff of Day of Discovery, we want to thank the, the Acts Network for the, really the encouragement that you provide to all of us, not just Radio Bible Class, but all of us, uh, to strive for excellence in um, ministry effort. And programs like this help to uh, serve as a prod for us to continue to strive for that, that view of excellence. After all, the King himself is in our audience, isn't he? And um, regardless, I was pretty comfortable tonight, whether we won or not, just, uh, and I really mean this, being a nominee is enough to get you going for a while, isn't it? So thanks for asking us to come, and we appreciate being associated with you good folks. I think by now you're getting a clear picture of the special relationship between the Acts Network and its affiliates, two groups working both nationally and locally to take the light of God's love to the world. There's a beautiful song that kind of sums up this dedicated effort by Acts and its affiliates. Let's give another big welcome right now, ladies and gentlemen, to Miss Kathy Sullivan.
singers and orchestra, your wonderful, beautiful song. And thank you to Janice McDonald and Dan Matthews for their wonderful help on this segment. Stay right where you are, folks. We'll be back very, very shortly. Stay right there. Cure for allergies? Not yet, but there is the sanitizer. The scientifically designed allergy bag filters out the smallest particles. The Space Age activated charcoal filter absorbs over 400 different pollutants and odors. Treated, the aromatic disinfectant pad kills germs on contact. The amazing sanitizer with crush-proof hose and handy attachments removes and contains even deep down dirt. The Rugmaster with its own motor gets your carpets the cleanest clean possible. After 70 years, Airway continues the tradition of filtration, quality, and power by introducing the American-made sanitizer. Designed for a lifetime, and it's fully warranted. Don't aggravate your allergies by just vacuuming. Sanitize your home with the sanitizer. For information or to order Factory Direct at huge savings, call 1-800-448-0464, extension 1147. Visa or MasterCard accepted. Or write Sanitizer, 3448 Columbus Road, Worcester, Ohio, 44691. Not available in department stores. What can a mother do to help her baby succeed when school begins? Should she stress reading and writing before the school years or simply not worry? Here at Parents Magazine, we deal with important questions like these every day. Is my baby getting enough sleep? When should I begin toilet training? What foods are best? At Parents Magazine, we give mothers the helpful information they need. Our contributing doctors, nutritionists, and psychologists can help you in a thousand ways. Now you can have one year of Parents Magazine delivered directly to you for only $12.95. Simply call us here at 1-800-433-5300 and start receiving the authoritative magazine mothers have depended on for over 60 years. Act now. Call 1-800-433-5300 and receive 12 issues of Parents for the low price of $12.95. That's 45% off the newsstand price. Call us today and don't miss a single issue. Stop. Pay close attention to this first-time television offer not available in stores anywhere. It's the 16 country gospel favorites of the Chuck Wagon Gang, a legendary name in American music. Oh, I can hear those lovely echoes from, from the burning world. Oh, my, my soul. Also, hits like The Church in the Wildwood, Now the Day is Over, Amazing Grace, or Shall We Gather at the River. Shall we be left out. Order now. Here's how. For rush delivery, have your credit card ready and call 1-800-733-8600. This country gospel collection by the Chuck Wagon Gang is a must. That's 1-800-733-8600. Or send $11.98 plus $3 shipping to Chuck Wagon Gang, Box 20, Department A, Los Angeles, California. This final portion of the telecast involves some of the major awards of the evening. And we're pleased to have two presenters who have made significant contributions to the Axe Network, each in a different way. Dick McCartney has served as interim president of the Axe and the S Network and the Southern Baptist Convention and Television Commission for the past year and is now chief executive officer and executive vice president. Deborah Tyler served as an anchor person on the daily news program called What's Happening, which aired on Axe for an extended period of time. So. Right now, folks, let's welcome Dick McCartney and Deborah Tyler. Well, hello, Deborah. How are you doing tonight? Well, Dick, thank you Isn't for asking. It is a great evening. It is. Thank you for asking. I feel terrific, of course. What a delightful evening has, it has been. But I'm especially excited about the next two awards, which we have opportunity to present. In fact, I can hardly wait to see who wins. Well, I know everyone's anxious, so let's get on with it. One of the major awards of the evening is called Program of the Year. It's presented for outstanding production and overall creativity by a local acts affiliate. 
Many superb programs were considered by our judges, including the formats of music, sports, documentary, and interviews. Studio-based program stories, videotaped on location, multi-camera remote telecasts, and a variety of creative techniques were viewed by the judges. Now, all of the programs and entries were impressive, and as varied and different as they were, there was one common denominator. Each was effective in reaching and serving its community and reaching to the heart, even the soul, of its viewers. But finally, a decision had to be made, and it now gives us a great deal of pleasure to announce the results. And the winner of the Program of the Year Award is Channel 39 of Phoenix, Arizona for No More Night, a special about popular entertainer, Ned Campbell. And I'd get in my closet. Now, I took it literally. I go in my closet at yeah. the house. And you know what a closet is. I don't know if it means going into your, into your inner self in the Bible or not. But I went into my closet, and I get out on my knees and pray. And, Richard, I get results. Amen. It's just amazing I mean, what, uh, and what God can do in your life and what the Lord Jesus Christ can do. And he delivered me from alcohol. I didn't have to go to one meeting. I don't crave it. I don't want it. Amen. It's just totally amazing, you know. Amen. Let's just share with the folks a little medley okay. of the hits that uh, brought you... Uh, a lot of joy and a, and a lot of success, uh, a lot of the accolades of men, and you're grateful for whatever that is and what it's done in your career. Uh, but then we'll show them how all that ties into your testimony. Okay. Well, I've been walking these streets so long, you know, just singing the same old song. Why, I know every crack in the dirty sidewalks of Hustle's the name of the game And the nice guys get washed away Like the snow and the rain And friends, there's been a load of compromising On the road to my horizon But I want to be where the light is shining on And accepting for Channel 39 is Dave Simpson, the producer-director of No More Night. Congratulations, Thanks, Dave. Sir. It's such a thrill to accept this award tonight. For uh, This really represents uh, you showing us how much you care about us and our efforts uh, to reach Phoenix for the gospel of, for the glory of Jesus Christ. And you know, uh, this program is really not about Glenn Campbell. This program is about Jesus Christ and what he can do in the life of a man. And that's why it's... I can never get over saying how much of a thrill it is to serve on the staff of the North Phoenix Baptist Church of Channel 39 and to participate in the ministry of the church and her pastor Richard Jackson for and everything that we do our main thrust is to see people come to Jesus Christ and so I just want to thank you so much and I just like to say thanks to the Axe Network for for being what you are for giving the North Phoenix Baptist Church yet one more way in which, in which we can reach Phoenix for the glory of Jesus Christ and for that I'm grateful and I thank you for this award. Sometimes it's hard for me to tell who's more excited, the recipient or myself. Isn't that the truth? It is. One of the um, highlights of every Axe Awards ceremony is the Affiliate of the Year category. Affiliates include cable as well as low power and full power television. Judging is based on such things as promotion efforts, community service, local programming, and inclusion of various denominations in the program schedule. Practically everyone in the audience, Dick, will attest to this fact, that the affiliates work very hard to earn a place of respect in their communities. But they feel a very special sense of obligation to the people they serve and feel that one of the ways that they can accomplish this purpose is by reaching out to all their needs. But, of course, the bottom line for all Axe affiliates is to convey the message of Jesus Christ to as many people as possible within their reach. And, of course, a worthy goal indeed. And our nominees for tonight in the Affiliate of the Award category Acts of Tangipahoa in Hammond, Louisiana, for strong community involvement. Acts of Laurel, Mississippi, for extensive programming related to their coverage area.
snacks of Texarkana, Arkansas, for a variety of programs and information about their city and surrounding area. And the winner of the Affiliate of the Year is Acts of Laurel, Mississippi. Laurel, Mississippi is just about as nice a town as you can find anywhere. It retains its old South charm with pretty homes, wide streets, and friendly people. While moving forward with industry and commerce, good educational systems, progressive government, and a caring attitude. Laurel is also a city which knows how to take advantage of a good thing when it's offered. Acts of Laurel does the offering, and local people and organizations take advantage of those offers which come in the form of promotion for community activities and coverage of numerous events in the area. Again, he's got it. He's got it. There it is, a touchdown. Acts of Laurel seems to be just about everywhere. Laurel Jones County High School football telecasts are done with great regularity during the fall season. And this crowd is going crazy. They really are, Bruce, and this extra point is big. Good defensive play by Wes Jones. Basketball. Nice. Soccer. Baseball. Wherever it happens, Acts of Laurel works to bring it to the local viewers. 23 with the hook shot. City council meetings also figure prominently in the Axe program schedule. What would you do to make Laurel a boom town again and not a ghost town? Thank you so much, Judith and... Axe of Laurel also produced a well-publicized television special in which local mayoral candidates were invited to air their views on the issues. That Laurel is by a long way from being a ghost town, and if I have anything to say about it, it never will be. Their float this morning is uh, Santa Claus is coming to town. Now we Whether it's the annual Laurel Christmas Parade or a drug abuse seminar aimed at young people, Axe has become an integral part of the community. Dressed as elves, except for a couple of the Swogatinsky children. By attracting a loyal audience to the channel, Axe can find receptive eyes and ears for the gospel can reach the unreachable, can go where others cannot go, can make a spiritual impact. Hats off and congratulations to Axe of Laurel, Mississippi, winner of the Affiliate of the Year Award. And accepting for Axe of Laurel is Michael Myrick, manager. Awesome. <laughs> it's really awesome. I needed this, uh, this other opportunity to be up here because uh, there's a vital group of uh, folks that I forgot to mention earlier. Uh, the, the volunteers do a tremendous amount of work. Uh, we did uh, probably something in excess of 75 field productions in 1989. Uh, we may surpass that this year yet the wives of the volunteers, and in some cases, the husband of the volunteers, and the families. It goes beyond words. Praise the Lord. Thank you. And Deborah. Affiliate of the Year is a tough act to follow, isn't it? <laughs> I couldn't agree with you more, Dick, but if there is a person who can follow that award, it's Dave Boyer. And especially with the song he's about to sing tonight. Here he is again, Dave Boyer. 
God bless you. Well, certainly all I'm hearing and part of this evening is all about the reason we're all here and this marvelous work of Axe Network because of Calvary. I think my own life without the cross, of course, I wouldn't be singing about it or much have any reason to live. But those years ago when I didn't serve the Lord and walked away from that Christian home, thank God that the prayers of Christian folks are answered. And God can not only restore, but he can heal my broken body than what it was and uh, made me a new person when I received him by faith and made me whole and uh, brought my wife home to me and just last July was this July will be our 31st wedding anniversary of grandparents now it's all because of Calvary that's what God did and that's what this is all about now, if I had one song to sing and only one it wouldn't be with a lot of screaming brass and all that I like but I love this deeply, maybe even more, because of its message that I sing now. Calvary covers it all. All of my past with its sin, its wasted shame. Jesus took for me there. Yes, Calvary has covered it all. Who but Christ could forgive every drunken moment? Who but Christ could forgive the fist to the wife of a face? Who but Christ? When forgiveness comes, it's total. Thank God tonight and every day I do that at Calvary's cross and because of the blood of Jesus, there's no blackmail. Total freedom, guilt gone. That's why I can sing far dearer than all, all this world can impart is the message that comes right now to my heart. Phoenix, Channel 39, the channel Arizona families can trust. Lord, all my guilt, my despair, you've taken from me there, and Calvary has covered it all. Love one your despair Jesus Jesus has taken there and Calvary has covered it is special because it provides a unique opportunity to highlight people and events that are important on the local level. Acts has something for us all. There's no worry about the children tuning in by themselves. And the strong biblical teaching and preaching give us a spiritual shot in the arm just when we seem to need it the most. 
Now you can learn the third most commonly used and most beautiful language in the United States, sign language in the comfort of your own home. Audiologist Larry Solo and Sharon Newman Solo teach the basics in this 20-hour home video library, making this romantic language easy and fun. After watching the video library, I found it to be a fun and easy way to learn sign language. I'm not deaf, but I enjoy the sensitivity and the beauty of the language, and I love to sign. You'll receive your first one-hour episode for only $4.95. Each month, you'll receive another one-hour tape until you receive all 20 tapes. Cancel at any time, no minimum to buy. We'll bill your credit card automatically, $19.95, plus shipping and handling. Please say it with sign. Use your credit card and order your first tape for only $4.95. Call 1-800-776-5400. That's 1-800-776-5400. Sorry, credit card orders only. He's loose. He made it. Did you see him take that pen? Of all the movies ever made, only a handful deserve to be called classics. Whoa. Now you can collect award-winning films that have inspired generations. Announcing Time Life Family Classics. Your collection begins with National Velvet, the story of friendship, a girl, her horse, and her dreams. National Velvet is yours for the introductory price of $9.99. That's a 50% saving off the regular price. Call now to get National Velvet for $9.99. Keep it and receive another classic about every other month. There's no minimum to buy, and you may cancel at any time. Here's how to order. Order your National Velvet video cassette. Call 1-800-733-8700 or send $9.99 plus $3.23 shipping and handling to National Velvet, Department 116, Box 1322, Buffalo, New York.